Thank you for watching. We have a great giveaway today. Once we hit 200 subscribers, whoever's the first person to leave a comment, they will receive the Cisco 1142 access point along with a AC adapter, power cord, and RS-232 cable. So stay tuned. Please like this video. If you found it informative, subscribe to us and look out for additional videos with giveaways. This is a long overdue video where we are going to take the tried and true Cisco Air AP1142 access point and we're adding an ASCII encrypted password. This is an update to my um, older AP1142 video where this one has iOS version 153-3. So we're going to get started. What I like to do is we like to go through the CLI, whether it's an RS-232 or USB to RJ45 connector. So basically, we're going to start out by um, just looking over the console. I think it's very important to just look over the console whenever you're working with um, any of these type of devices. You just want to see what's in the background. So we copy the IP address, add it to the browser. Enter in the username and password. Now we're at the home. We are going to easy setup, network configuration. And since we're using DHCP, we're going to leave that the way it is. Enter in the SSID. Make sure you click Broadcast, SSID, and Beacon. Universal Admin Mode, we're going to disable that. Leave it without any security, gonna apply that. Make sure that you see that SSID before you go over. So in security, going to go to encryption manager. On Cypher, we're going to Enter in AES CCMP plus TKIP. And then we're going to apply that to the radio and you hit OK. It's going to take a sec to refresh. And we're going to head over to the SSID manager. And you just want to make sure you click on the SSID from the list. For key management, we're going to make that mandatory and then we're going to enable WPA and then you scroll down and enter in your WPA pre-share key, which is going to be your ASCII key. And then you hit apply and OK. So right now your ASCII security is set up. So now all we really have to do is turn the radio on. So to do that, you go home. And then you can click on the radio that you want to enable. Go to setting. Enable. Access point, which is going to be checked off already. And then you have some options, best range, throughput, default. For this, we're going to go with the best range. And there's a host of options. We're just keeping this simple, so we're going to apply from here. Very important. So enable the radios. It's not a lengthy step, but it actually takes the access point time to display this. So. Don't jump the gun. If Once you get back in, if you notice, oh, it's not enabled, what's going on, just be patient. So I'll, 
I usually just let it sit, but I'm just kind of doing this in real time. So what I've done is I've refreshed it. Um, and in this case, it showed up. So from here, you're going to go to your Wi-Fi and you're going to find the access point and it's going to show up in your available networks. Click it and then enter in your password. We're going to go to our website, ITTWW. If you do want to purchase one of these, we have plenty available. And we sell them in kits, so it's kind of a one-stop shop. You don't have to buy a bunch of separate individual parts. It makes it easy, especially if you're just learning this and you want to kind of get up and running. We have a lot of rapid deployment kits for switches, routers, what have you. Once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the like button and keep an eye out for additional videos.